Yo what's good people it's Jay Cactus and in today's video I'm going to be making an emotional UK drill beat from scratch for Central C. I'm thinking something like his latest track Let Go which is trending number one on YouTube right now. And before we get into it I'm giving away a free boom bap drum kit to anyone who pre-saves my new instrumental album Timeless using the link in the description. The album's crazy it's full of soulful beats, boom bap beats, live instruments and just real nice vibes. It's going to be available on all streaming platforms from Friday the 6th of January so keep a lookout for that. Don't miss out on the free drum kit and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the track Let Go is at 146 BPM and D minor, so we're going to work around that for now. And I want to start with a piano, so I'm going to use this one in contact, but you can use any grand piano. And one trick that I like to use for building emotional chord progressions is to just go up in the scale, but instead of starting on the root note, we're going to start from here and finish on the root note. So that's going to be the progression. So if I turn those to bass notes, I'm going to bring them down. And then we'll copy those, bring them up an octave, and now we'll just build out some chords. So just skipping every other note. You can already hear it's going to sound emotional. And when you're making these type of melodies, you can expand on the chords too. So it doesn't just have to be three notes. So I could try turning them into like sevenths. I like the sound of that though. I'm just adding the root note on top and then we could try inverting some notes too. Yeah, I like the sound of that too. Could even try and take it further so we'll add another note. Yeah, feeling it. Now at this point, what you could do is just reverse that. So I'll have it come back down. Just bring that back a bit further. So that's one option, but I want to switch it up for this one. I could even extend this a bit. So it's up to you what rhythm you choose. And then I'm going to press Ctrl and B to copy it. And then in this part, we're going to create another chord. Maybe we'll start with the E and work our way down. Let's bring that back up. Okay, and then in this last section, we'll figure out one more chord. So maybe just coming down. Yeah, so I just repeated that chord. All right, so I like the progression. I'm just going to randomize the velocity a bit. I'll strum them too. So I like to strum them different lengths to make it more natural. So like this third chord, I can bring that out a bit more. And then I'll just go in and fine tune things. So I might not strum everything equally. I'll bring some back a bit. And then from here, we could add some filler notes too. Could also start slicing some notes as well. But I'm going to bring these ones down. So by slicing them and just adding a few more notes, it's kind of giving me a counter melody, but I'm going to add one more top line. So I'm just getting that top line and then some supporting notes. Let's try and pitch it up though, maybe to F minor. Okay, I've just changed a couple notes and I think we've got it now. Yeah, I prefer it in this key. Ooh, I prefer the sound of this piano actually. Just gives it a different vibe. Okay, next I'm gonna use the picked nylon guitar from Contact and I'm just gonna take the same melody, paste it into the guitar. I had to pitch it up an octave, but it sounds nice under it. I'm also hearing some human whistles in this one, so I'm going to use Ethno World. So yeah, I'll just fix some of the notes. I want it natural. And then I can finish here. And then I've just copied that whistle melody and I'm pasting it into this strings ensemble. And this isn't gonna play all the time. This might just be in like the last hook, just in one part where I want more energy. I 
And for now, that's all the layers I want. If you listen to Let Go, there's not actually many different instruments in there. So I want to save extra space for vocals. Okay, let's get a counter snare in. I feel like I want this one for this beat. We'll just cop it out a few times. So I think just a simple pattern for this and then have it a little bit busier right at the end. Because it's an emotional drill beat, I don't need to go too crazy with things like this. I want a different one though. Maybe this. And then I'm just going to add this one for the end. So I'll delete everything here and then just keep this section. I'm also just going to press Alt and R and then randomize the panning. I'm going to want a rim in there at some point, so I'll drag this in. And then for the snare, I'm going to take this and then layer it with a clap. Alright, let's paste it in the snare. Might even change that rim. Yeah, there we go. And then the same at the end. Alright, and I think I'm gonna have to go back to the fat and wide 808. Could be my favorite 808 of all time. So yeah, it's gonna be easy to follow because we've already got the notes. So we'll keep that bit simple, copy it over, and then maybe just change this section here. Yeah, that's sounding hard, so I'm gonna copy everything and then just make the second pattern a bit more interesting. So yeah, just add in a few more notes than the first half. and then some slides at the end here. Okay, and I think this can come down and that should be it. Hard. All right, cool. So the main drums are in there. I just need to add a few effects like a riser, a gunshot, maybe a couple of other perks. So for example, I could add something like this. I'm going to make this one unique and then reverse it. Just cut that end off as well. All right, we'll get a stomp in there as well. And then there's also a perk repeat in one of my older kits, which I really like for this type of beat. We could get a drum fill in as well. Let's try this one. But maybe we just get this at the end of every 16. Drum fill so sick. I'm just adding a tiny bit of delay to that main counter snare just to give it more bounce. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and split the pattern. We'll copy it out a few times and then we can start arranging it. So I'm thinking in the intro, I'll take out this count melody. And then, yeah, maybe have the guitar come in here. And then, yeah, as always, I like to bring in some of the count snares. But I'm going to turn the layoff and then just have it come back in when the hook comes in. All right, so in the hook, I'm going to have the whistle come in halfway through. Also in the intro, on the count snare, I'm going to have a fruity love filler. So, yeah, just in this one section and then it can just come off here. There's something similar in the central beat, but I've done this tons of times before. Get our camera flash in here as well. Alright, I don't even need a tag anymore. Just hear that flash and you know it's my beat. So I'll get rid of the rim here. Just bring it in here. And we got the whistle. So then after that whistle finishes, I need to cut everything here. And then just bring the part with the chords back in. And then in the central beat, there's a few different basses. There's a sub bass and it sounds like it could be a Zay 808. So we're going to add one of those in.
All right, the sub sounding hard. We'll get another 808 in as well. All right, we'll just get a riser in there as well, and then we'll see how it transitions. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, so in the next section, I've just taken the count melody out, and this is just before the hook. You know what, I really think the sub bass needs to be there instead of the 808. And then also what I'm going to do is take the counter snare like I have it in the intro with Love Filler. Alright, and then from there, I think we could just bring the hook back in. And then on the last hook, I can bring the whistle in early and then the strings here. All right, let's hear it from the beginning. So yeah, I just started with the piano chords. I muted the counter melody. But that comes in here, along with the guitar. And then I brought the sub bass in too. Yeah, as you can hear, I've got a little filter on the counter snares. Just before the hook. I think this beat came out sick. Could hear Central C all over this. And then the whistle. And obviously we've got the second eight way pattern. And then the first verse. So we've got a bit of a breakdown. And then when the second part comes in, we've got the new eight way. I think that Z8 weight just fits perfect in here. Yeah, this one came out crazy. Real emotional. And then we've got a bridge here. So similar to the intro, I took the count melody out. And then back to the hook. 